Arjit, an extraterrestrial con artist, and Kevin meet in an alleyway at the start of the episode to talk about a piece of alien technology Kevin is seeking for, only for Kevin to discover that Arjit doesn't have it. Arjit informs Kevin that he knows who has it, but it could come at a price as he starts his car. Later that night, when Ben and Gwen look at pictures of themselves when they were 10, Kevin offers to fix Max's RV, the Rust Bucket 2. When Kevin is finished, Gwen tries to enter the RV but is stopped by Kevin. After watching Kevin enter the Rust Bucket 2 patiently and puzzled, Gwen and Ben are horrified to see Kevin rush away from them in the RV. Ben tries to stop him by changing into Big Chill, a new extraterrestrial, but Kevin eludes him in the now-amplified RV. Gwen is able to catch up with Ben as Kevin flees, and she is a little taken aback when Ben tells her what transpired. Gwen is able to hunt down Kevin using her supernatural abilities. In the meantime, Kevin stops by the side of the road to meet Arjit and displays the RV he intends to exchange for the desired extraterrestrial technology. Arjit examines it and declares it to be useless, but as soon as he notices the extensive amount of alien technology put in the RV, he retracts his statement. Arjit suddenly turns against Kevin, blasting his quills at him, briefly paralyzing him, and stealing the rust bucket too. Kevin is only able to move just enough to take in the concrete ground and restore his strength as Arjit drives off. Next, he hurls a boulder towards the RV in the distance, which Arjit easily dodges. When Gwen and Ben finally discover Kevin, Ben confronts him and starts to reprimand him when he learns that Kevin had a tracking device buried in the vehicle's underbelly and was able to detect it using his plumber's badge. Ben is quite upset when Kevin, Gwen, and Ben follow the tracking signal to a warehouse and see the RV entirely stripped. The squad hides as they hear footsteps approaching and then turns to witness Arjit enter the rust bucket too to get a piece of forgotten alien technology. Arjit is approached by Ben, Gwen, and Kevin as he prepares to depart. They are all prepared to fight. With the crew hot on his heels, Arjit smashes the window and starts to flee. Ben rapidly knocks the Omnitrix to the ground before assuming the form of Echo Echo and utilizing his abilities to surround Arjit in a small passageway. Arjit fires his quills at the several Echo Echoes, striking all but one of them as well as Gwen and Kevin. The last Echo Echo dodged Arjit's quills as he was about to shot him by rapidly multiplying and using his abilities to create a wall of sound. When Arjit awakens, he discovers that he is bound and that his quills are fastened to his head. Ben starts to concur with Arjit's assertion that they shouldn't trust Kevin when he confronts him and Ben and Gwen. Angrily leaving, Kevin said that he was done with both him and Gwen. Kevin arrived at the hideout of Vulcanus, who allegedly held the extraterrestrial technology Kevin was seeking. After taking a ride on the back of a truck, because of a previous bad encounter, Kevin abandoned Vulcanus and abandoned him to the mercy of the plumbers. Vulcanus, who was accused of having some fake isotopes, would not negotiate with Kevin until Kevin promised to take action. Still resentful, Vulcanus employs a device to confine Kevin and make him uncontrollably absorb the rare alien crystal Tadenite. As a consequence, Vulcanus' team starts mining the crystalline spikes that sprout on Kevin's back and cause him to enlarge. Ben, dressed as Big Chill, and Gwen show up to save Kevin, just as Vulcanus declares his intention to utilize Kevin as a live gem mine. Gwen was able to rescue Kevin and convince him to stop absorbing and eliminating the Taden ideas already ingested. Big Chill ultimately destroys Vulcanus' suit by phasing through and freezing it brittle, revealing he is truly a small extraterrestrial in a robotic suit. When the heroes were ready to depart the fight area, Kevin realized why he had come and collected the alien technology he had been seeking for. A different holo viewer that held a message from Max instructing Ben to assemble a team of more plumbers' children. And the story concludes with this.